in a fiery land called Mordor. There's, um, well, a paintbrush, really. Welcome, Reaper Miniature fans. This is part two of my Stygian barge build and paint. Now today we're going straight in and we're going to finish this barge. All we're going to be doing is I'm going to be dry brushing all the barge um, with some nice colours just to bring out the wood. And I'm going to be using Stained Olive by MSP and some Desert Sand by MSP. Um, we're going to do all the wood first and I'll be just a quick dry brush. And then we can work on the bones and we can work on the canopy. Now it's quite a quick and easy finish to the boat so we'll make a start right now. So for today I'm using the Large Terrain Brush by Army Painter and we're going straight into the stained olive. Taking off the excess and going straight onto the boat. heavily going over the whole moon. What I'll do is I will try to do one side so you can all see how I get on with the one side and then I will move and finish the other side off camera because you don't want to watch the whole thing of me just dry brushing the so all I'm doing, I'm just going over all the edges of the wood, nice and fast. What we'll be doing is we'll be highlighting with the desert sand on top of this and I'll be just doing the edge work on all the areas. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm just going over all the wood areas around the miniature with this colour and then I shall use the desert sand then I'll be giving another ink wash it's quite a big miniature I haven't got much room on this table so I'm going to put this out of the way going over all the wood areas and there's a lot of wood there is a hell of a lot of wood <laughs> it's a super fast and easy job this though and the effect is very nice once finished this um, this stained olive it gives a really lovely effect to the wood it's highly recommended um, it gives it that antique worn look because um, you want the boat to look kind of moldy i mean this is a this isn't a brand new boat it's supposed to be looking old like i say it doesn't take long to fly around the boat and add the paint so we're going just the wood areas nice and fast And you can already see the colours already, and it looks war. It's look. It's stained. It looks great. It looks fantastic. So all I'll do is I'm going to add a little bit now of the desert sand. Now I'm taking lots of paint off the brush for this one because it's just a highlight, and I can show you better on the railings just here. There we go, look at that. Instantly worn. Just on the edges of all the wood. Gives a lovely effect. Up the stairs, make the stairs look nice and worn inside. Just 
go across the grain go across the grain what will happen is all the pigments will stick to the highest areas and give you instant detailing absolutely beautiful and I can show you better on this here if you go along the decking just here straight across Oops. This just gives instant worn effects to the whole of the miniature. What we do with stairs is we center most of the dry brushing in the center of the stairs, leaving the ends of each stair a little bit darker because you're working out where people are walking up and down the stairs. So the middle is gonna be a lot more worn than the ends, so they'll stay dark. Now I'm keeping the skull and everything on the front of the boat. I want that to look wood as well. So it all blends in nicely with the rest of the miniature. Oops, so lazy. What I'll do is I will finish off this dry brush in here and then I'll come back and then we can move on to the bone areas. But as you can see, just doing that tiny bit of dry brushing has given a lovely effect already. Absolutely, it's instantly aged that boat and made it look awesome. Okay, so this is all the dry brushing needed for all the wood. And as you can see, it's come out beautifully. Now, all I've done is used those two colors, nothing more. I've used a stain olive and I used the desert sand. And those two colors have given the effect I want. I'll give you a quick 360. You can see the changing color just by looking at the base of the miniature there. Um, and this to me is beautiful. Um, I was going to add an ink wash over the top, but I don't even think it needs the ink wash. It's got a lovely effect, but we'll see how it looks when it completely dries. It might need a little light ink wash, but to be honest, it's looking fantastic just like it is so what I'm, what I'm going to do now is I am going to paint all the center here I'm going to paint that dragon white I'm going to, going to give it a couple of coats of dragon white because what we're going to do is we're going to use an ink wash to bring out all the slimy details and bones at the bottom of the boat so once I've added that um, ink wash we'll come back and then I'll show you that stage. Okay, what I've done now is I have painted in all the areas that are bone, and I've used graveyard bone. Now, I'm gonna do these first. I was gonna do the floor first, but I've realized that because I'm using a lighter color, I'll get the dark areas painted on first. So like I say, I've done the graveyard bone. I am now going to put a brown ink wash over all these parts of the bone on the ship and then I'll come back. While the boat is drying out, I thought I'd get the canopy uh, painted up. What I'm using here is I've got some dragon red, some witchcraft, witchcraft purple, and some dragon white by MSP. Now, again, I'm using my large terrain brush. I'm going straight in to the dragon red, and I'm gonna go heavily over the whole area here. and loads of paint on there. Now what I'm doing is while this paint is still wet, I am going to go straight into that purple and mix it together. Bringing it down and this will highlight the raised areas of the tarpaulin. 
right across the top. Keeping that brown underneath, giving some highlight. Going back into the red, just want to highlight the bottom here. Simple as that. Now we're going into some white, and add that to the purple. And this will be just to highlight a tiny bit of the edges, just along the, just along the ridges where the tarpaulin is poking out a little bit more. A bit more white mixed in with the purple. Again, going along the highest areas with the dry brush. See how it's see how it's making the tarpaulin raise away and again on the tops here just on the edges going along with that lighter purple very simple back into the purple a bit more white going along just the tips of the, on the tops Beautiful. Beautiful. There we are. And that's done. And that's all you need. I might put a little brown ink wash just on some areas there, but to me, that's done. All I need to do now is go across with my skeleton bone and add some ink. Now I'm going to continue with the other side and then we'll go back to the bone. Okay, so what I've done now, as you can see, I've added two coats of Dragon White from MSP. And now I'm going to go over all the white areas with a red ink wash. And because I put the Dragon White below, what will happen is it will make that ink wash really shine and stand out a lot more. Um, so what I'll do is I will get that ink wash on and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've added the red ink wash and it looks fantastic and it's glowing now. All I need to do now is I'm going to add some gloss varnish by Army Painter and I'm going to go over all the top of the red and that'll give it a nice wet look. Now the boat is almost finished. All I need to do now is add the canopy. As you can see, that's all been finished now. Looks fantastic. Um, so I'll stick the canopy on. I'll finish off the fine details and I'll come back and show you the finished miniature. So here we are, this is the finished miniature. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm super happy with this one. It looks nice and worn, all the wood looks like wood. Um, it really was a fantastic miniature to paint. Um, I hope you liked the little video. I'm just letting you have a little 360 of what the boat looks like completed. Um, the red came out beautiful. Um, I was going to go for a green on the inside of the boat, but I wanted it to look manky, like it's full of blood and bones. It, for me, to me, that's more, more gooey, more horror. <laughs> so there we are. This is the Stygian barge by Reaper Miniatures. So let me show you what's on the painting table for next week. Okay, so for next week we have the King and Queen of Hell. These are brand new releases from Reaper Miniatures that have just gone to retail. So this will be very exciting for next week. Uh, so you've got the king, absolutely beautiful looking miniature. And you've got the queen slowly creeping around the corner. Come on. So these miniatures will be for next week. And I will be giving them some lovely, nice red tones and we shall go through this together on the next episode so if you enjoy what i do then please subscribe to the channel if you want to support the channel then please become a patron all patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos so until next time
good day, my fellow ones. Sleep well. Dream of evil. Big brushes. <laughs>